Very generally, we could say that there will be three main parts of our code. First, we need to define and initialize variables like mu, epsilon, delta t, delta x, and arrays where we're going to store, say, the EZ and the HY numbers. And next, we want to solve Ampere's and Faraday's laws. I'm going to put that here as Maxwell's equations across x, so space, and over time, t. So this will probably involve some loops, where we loop over all the spatial grid cells and loop over all the time steps so that we can solve the two equations we've come up with over and over and over again for all the cells and time steps. And third, I'd say here that we need to save and plot any output that we're interested in from the simulation. Next, spend a couple minutes adding more detail just to the first of these three sections. Add enough detail so that you could start to turn your notes into a working code as a next step.